Hi, I'm Parni Jaggi. And before this, we had a detailed uh, talk on the synopsis, plot, overview, the themes, the characters, the narrative, and uh, the style, the structure of the story, A Cup of Tea, written by Catherine Mansfield, the famous New Zealand writer. In this video, we're going to be talking in detail about the character sketch of the protagonist, Rosemary Fell. Now, this Rosemary Fell, the main character of the story, A Cup of Tea, is actually a tool to dramatize and project human emotions. And especially because she belongs to that rich elite society. So, this character actually portrays the psyche of the rich people and the rich women in particular. So she is an extremely rich lady, not just comfortably rich, but quite rich. But she is also snobbish in that sense, because in her vanity and her hypocrisy, in an attempt to show off her richness, she tries several things. Uh, now we see that Rosemary, now because she is married to a rich man, so, a lot of traits of rich people can be seen in her personality. So, in the very beginning where the story starts, the author brings us to the attention of what she is doing. She is actually shopping and uh, she is shopping to Paris from London and she bought loads of flowers from one of the most fashionable streets in London. Now, at the shop too, she would throw her weight around by telling those people her likes and dislikes, showing her as a snobbish person. And then she visits an antique shop where the shopkeeper is flattering her time and again, which she is accepting very gracefully and elegantly. Now, when we look at her external and physical appearance, according to the author, Rosemary was not exactly beautiful, but she could be called pretty if she could, if she, we would take her to pieces or we would examine her closely. She was young, brilliant, extremely modern and a well-dressed lady. Now, in addition to these qualities, she was also vain. Vanity was also a part of her personality and... Uh, she could not help noticing herself and her hands. She was in fact lured by the charm of her hands against the blue velvet when she was shopping in the antique shop in the market. Now next we also see that Rosemary loved reading books and novels. She would read all the latest books. But the negative aspect of this habit of hers is that she was always lost in the world of dreams, fantasy and romanticism. She did not even know the realities of the world. For example, in this story, we see that when this beggar girl comes to Rosemary uh, to beg for the price of a cup of tea, she is surprised at the poverty of the girl, that she can't even afford a cup of tea. So she felt as if this event was part of some novel. And lost in her romantic world, she took the girl that wonderful things do, do happen and fairy godmothers were actually real in the world. And also to prove that rich people too have hearts and all women were actually sisters. So she behaves in a very different way. She is here actually also shown as an impulsive woman. She didn't think before she acted. She proved this when she took this girl, the beggar girl, home without even thinking of the reaction of her husband and other servants and workers at her house. So here, the writer points out that certain superficial attitudes and lack of serious-mindedness can also be seen in the character of Rosemary. She also presents the picture of an extrovert at peace with herself in the world. Now, when we come to the last part of the story, the romantic world in which Rosemary lived came into conflict with the realistic world. How? Her romantic world is coming from the books in which everything is nice and good for the rich people and they are ready to help the poor. But the realistic world is that she has got the poor girl to her home. That home 
that home where her husband is also living and that girl is sitting and is being looked after in the presence of her husband now as soon as there is a word of praise from rosemary's husband for that girl it makes rosemary jealous so that insecurity she felt insecure although her husband adored her she became restless she forgot all the dreams that she had for that beggar girl and what she does is she sends her away she gives her a, a little money and she sends her away so we see that jealousy again is a very important trait of her personality in fact the writer here has generalized a kind of she's a representative of the general females psychology according to which this kind of a situation leads a woman to be jealous thus jealousy the universal human failing turns her into a hardcore realist in fact it is here that she succeeds in giving a humanistic touch to her character so when we conclude we can say that the character of rosemary fell is very well portrayed one can find the traces of realism in rosemary as also we do shallow we we do find shallow women around us all around us in society but also we see that her transformation into humanism towards the end of the story makes one feel sorry for her also although we may not like her but when she is transformed when she is engulfed in that in that terrain of doubt and uncertainty and insecurity we also feel sorry for her so the main themes of class consciousness and feminism have been developed remarkably through this character of Ro- rosemary fell so this was a brief analysis of the story as well as the character of the story a cup of tea so let's uh, we'll meet in the next videos for the next lectures for the next short stories so please join me again thank you for now